Anti-Venom has been confirmed as a new champ for next month via motion comic. Arkaban wrong on the way that they have dealt with the uncanny crystal compensation situation. We learn more about the inputs and parry dex issues of the last couple of months and a quick look into what went down at mine and M's wedding. Yes, hello everybody. Welcome to the Marvel Contest of Champions news show for Monday. How you doing? We're all in a good mood, all in a loved up mood because it has been a glorious weekend. Not so much for stuff that Kabam are doing, but we're going to cover that. And also, at the end of the video, we're going to be showcasing some stuff that went down at uh, mine and M's wedding, as I did say. Also, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe with post notifications on all. Uh, and also, just to let you know, this video is being recorded in a way that uh, is more of a portable sense, because I still don't have the PC back. So I'm going to be putting things like screenshots over the top of the videos and things. So it's going to look a little bit less produced than it normally is but I'm going to do a jolly good try in getting it to the quality that you all know and love. Now thanks to everybody that supports the channel, is a paid member, is indeed a Twitch subscriber, is all that lovely stuff, Patreon as well, thank you for keeping the channel going and also you know massive thanks and thumbs up. But also something to let you know is that this video is indeed sponsored. Lighting rooms for video recording and taking photos can be really annoying, not just for me, but other people as well. Whether you're doing a Zoom conference, you're an up and coming TikTok star, YouTuber or an interviewer, you need good lighting and you need a good tripod solution. Well, Toner have got you covered with the large selfie ring light and phone stand. You can check this product out in the link in the description down below and it won't disappoint. The light and stand is easy to assemble comes with easy to follow instructions so setting up is easy to do. It's dimmable with three separate lighting modes, cold, warm and natural. It plugs into a USB which is brilliant for portable using and set up on the move. The product also has a Bluetooth, wireless, photo and video start clicker which is ideal for video and photo shooting. It's easy to pair and get going. So if you can make your content, whether it's photos or TikTok recordings, at the click of the button, then hey, you're on to a winner with this product. Thanks to Tona for sponsoring this video. It's been amazing to put this little product into my room, my home studio, and as well, I'll be taking this product to my wedding where I'm looking to film a lot of dimly lit areas with having this and as well a phone to capture certain moments. If you know someone else that would like a product like this, then please recommend them. And as well, go to the link in the description. It's available on Amazon, so go and check it out. Yeah, thanks again to Toner for sponsoring this video. To give you an idea, I'm actually gonna turn on the light right here. So this is the ring light, and as well, I can use it with my mobile device, which I did actually use it at my wedding. So you're gonna see some footage of me kind of setting this up at some point. But yeah, like you can see that like the difference with the, the, the ring light, it just provides that extra bit of light to kind of like give that pizzazz. So, uh, so yeah, a little showcase there, go and check it out. There is a code. Code is Richard001 and entitles you to 10% off. So go and check it out. It's available until October 30th. So yeah, thanks again to Tona for sponsoring this video and we hope to be working with them in the future. Go and check it out and also, you know, go and purchase because it's a great product. What we're gonna do is kick off the show with a little bit of a recap and also dissection. So as you know, for the last couple of days, um, I've been doing a wedding. But what has been going down in the community? Several things. One thing in particular has been a problem with missing Cosmic Ghost Rider logging crystals. Now, from what I gather, this has been a very annoying thing for people who want a chance to get a Cosmic Ghost Rider. And as said by the big orange marker, earlier today, there was an issue where summoners that logged on shortly after the logging calendar switch over for the day didn't receive the Cosmic Ghost Rider logging crystal. We fixed the issue for players receiving the crystal now, but we'll have to collect data and send out the crystal for all play to all players that didn't. Uh, and it, we received in the next week. Uh, and yeah, Kabam do apologize for that. But you know, similar kind of situation. I gotta be honest, like I don't think people are too kind of, um, you know, chomping at the bit for this. Cause let's face it, at the end of the day, you know, these are just like, it's, it's, a, it's a crystal that is down to a luck based thing. So you gotta be lucky in order to receive it. And here's the thing, sometimes we all know, we aren't so lucky when it comes to these things. But uh, at least gives you a little bit of perspective there. That it will hopefully be sorted out very, very soon. Next up, we're going to talk about my auntie, my auntie Venom. No, just not, not my personal auntie, but Auntie Venom. As in, 
Not one type of venom, a different type of venom. A kind of a better, nicer hero-like venom. And the fact is, Kabam have, uh, well, they've given away what the champion or one of the champions is for next month. Some of you know if you've been watching or kind of like taking consideration of like people leaking stuff and data mining and stuff, then you already know this. But if you didn't, then at least to say that it's come from the horse's mouth, so to speak. With the motion comic Destroyer of Light motion comic uh, that is going to be premiering on the 27th. So that is going to be today at uh, 11 a.m., which I would say is about uh, 6 p.m. or whatever it is, something like that, uh, GMT. Um, that's going to be out there. I think it's just going to be out a little bit earlier, if I'm being honest. But in any case, when that's released, it's going to be uh, it's going to be cool. Hopefully, we see then some uh, some kind of gameplay, and I hope to be making a video on it. I'm not quite sure of like where I'm going to be, what my time frame is, but I do want to cover a lot of the stuff for next month. So, you know, it's pretty expect something from me about that. Um, yeah, looking, looking forward to that. Okay, now we're going to talk about something very, very important and where Kabam may have made a big slip up. So, as a lot of you know, I've been covering this uncanny crystal compensation situation for a good part of when it dropped. The follow up with Kabam saying they were going to deal with it and now being a process of them actually dealing with it, but dealing with it wrong. So I've been reading through some of the forum thread uh, posts and as well some of the pages and especially with what has been said. And that's just the thing. Some of it seems to be incorrect. One player in particular says, what I should be getting is 21 crystals as I bought everything. Why did I only get seven crystals? So there seems to be a lower amount of compensation give back for, from it. In, in the past, when we've done Nexus Crystal Openings or Nexus Cavalier Crystal Openings, which may be out on this channel, I have not 100% sure of my schedule, but when I've done that, I bought 10, and Kabam then refunded, not refunded, but they compensated for a further 10. So that's like, it's like 10, 10, okay. So players that bought 21 are not receiving 21 additional, or. 21 as the compensation which you think should be the case especially if they've they've advertised one crystal type but the champions within that crystal were 100 incorrect and that's in, that's incredibly disappointing to see and kabam mike ends on this point unfortunately looking at all so oh, unfortunately looking at all solutions we could not find that we'd be able to automatically for all players affected, but our support team is prepared to help those affected. If you open Uncanny Crystals before 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time and on September 15th and did not receive the same amount of crystals as you open, please reach out to our support team via the game support portal. You can get there by tapping the gray gear icon. As we know, due to the nature of those requests and the volume we are expe expecting, it may take several days for our support team to process the request. You probably will not hear any update until early mid next week, but please be patient with us and we'll work quickly so we can get through all the cases. Please note that if you purchase crystals before 10 a.m. PT, um, that uh, your crystals will have been corrected and that might be why you didn't receive any crystals. Okay, I, I think it's just like a complete mess if I'm being brutally honest and it's something that, you know, Kabam, I think need to learn learn from drastically to kind of like deal with the situations because it just seems that they just half the time. I know they mean well by what they want to do, but I don't think it comes across well enough to please players. And that's, that's just the thing about like, you, you could go above and beyond to please players by just kind of like giving out the same compensation and that's left players with a smile on their face. Difference is, it's like now it's just like it just just looks like it's just unorganized and just ridiculous. But anyway, um, sorry to those players affected, and also some are saying that um, they don't feel that the latter part of the competition is there. And as well, why should you have to record your crystal openings? That's why I feel kind of kind of annoyed. Like pe players are having to record their crystal openings to vouch for what they got. Even though Kabam is saying we can see what we can see our end, it's like, well, that may not be the case. So there you go. Um, always record your crystal openings, it seems, in order to make sure that you catch out anything when it comes to Kabam in this situation. I'm sure some people might have asked for a refund on this one. Very disappointing, very disappointing. Let's move on talking about the input system update info. Very, very interesting and it deep dives a hell of a lot. There's a lot of things that I would like to necessarily question 
about its um, its development, covering of the test, lots of different areas, including the amazing Sir Tapsalot, as I call it, um, that's a Robot Wars reference, and the way that it kind of like tests out responses in the game. There is so many th there's so many things to unpack. When I come back from honeymoon, I will do a full state of the game kind of address or video. Uh, but let's kind of like address what is important about what's next for getting this fixed, because that again is the most important thing. Kabam even say like in a, in a section on this thread, they said since this issue is the result of a bug fix to the engine, reverting back to what it was before is not possible. And our goal is to build a new reliable timing control for time of controls in game. We are new. We are now rebuilding our entire control and input system to work with a new input system in the Unity engine. This new system will have more stability than our previous input system, which was built on a legacy code. We've already started making progress towards it, and early tests are showing promise. So, yeah, there's still more work to be done, and I think is you you just don't know when it's going to be sorted. Also, mentioning the stuttering and crashing, as you mentioned earlier, these gameplay issues uh, become a sort of a patch, a catch-all of the other issues occurring in game uh, that are completely unrelated, including gameplay stuttering. Uh, frame rate issues as well as any other gameplay problems we wanted to identify what the actual issue is so that our game uh, our players know that we're experienced uh, if they experience these issues they should report it i should difference in timeline for those fixes um so yeah i mean at the end of the day this is just something that needs to be dealt with they said we found that the asset memory leak is the culprit responsible for these issues and have a step fix coming so the first fix will be coming in 32.3 next month. And another will follow in 33.0 in November. So there's a lot more to come. And I think that's the thing about hoping for the best. And hoping they deliver sooner rather than later. Especially by December. December is such an important month for the grind of the game. I hope it's sorted out sooner rather than later. But I'll deep dive this more in a video when I'm back from my honeymoon. And finally, as I said, uh, there will be a, um, a little bit of a f either footage or images over the top of this segment here to kind of like, like you know, let you know what went down at uh, my name's wedding. Uh, it was pretty incredible. And thank you to everybody. Uh, the comments, well wishes, social media posts and more videos will be coming. I will be doing some stuff. We'll be doing a, um, a thank you video for those that very kindly sent donations. Uh, as wedding gifts and those, those people from the community and we'll be kind of like saying thank you in a video um, very very soon probably by the end of the week there'll be my name's first dance as a separate video there'll be a newlyweds crystal opening because as a lot you know that have done a wedding before things just kind of like timings go out the window photos go on and on uh, but you're just in the moment with the experience in any case uh, it was an amazing day Loads of people had a great time. Uh, I did an amazing speech, of course I did. So did Em's dad. Em looked beautiful, as uh, as a lot of you know. And uh, as, as well, there was a Batmobile there. We had all my Marvel props. Thank God they came back in one piece. And uh, yeah, it was just an amazing time. We did this kind of really cool first dance routine, which I'll show you at some point. But uh, yeah, uh, absolutely amazing fun. More videos to come on that one, but I thought I'd give you a little snippet on this video just to check out. And that has been uh, the new show. It's a bit different in the way that I'm producing these, but because of my, because I'm using my, like my laptop is now where I'm going to be, where I'm recording it's right there. And I'm kind of reading off the laptop. Uh, it does mean, mean things that are a little bit, little bit difficult to kind of like get sorted. But because I'll be taking this setup on the road uh, when I go on honeymoon, that uh, it kind of like it. It's got to work for the time being, but yeah, there we go. Uh, that's been a video. Thanks to Tona for sponsoring, as I said, uh, the ring light, and as well, you can get the uh, the little selfie kind of like stick the case inside it. It is amazing and uh, helped out a lot with recording uh, stuff at the uh, at the wedding itself. And uh, yeah, go and check it out. Link is in the description. Support the channel. Also, if you are a creator or know it, like somebody that's an amateur creator or wants to get into it, this is an amazing um, option for them as it's got a massive tripod so you can stand up and uh, record whatever you want. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you all soon. Bye-bye. Uh,